one hand doesn't know what the other hand is doing. Sneakiness, strategy, scheming, betrayal, getting away with something. So that's how it all works because the person who's actually in charge of it knows that the dots between the killer and the helper are too far apart to really connect them to hence protecting that person that's the middle gatherer of evil it's like brian thinks that it's only that one person helping him but might not understand how but that person actually has someone else that's helping but doesn't understand what they're helping with Service, diet, rituals, well-being, but in reverse, which is for Bethany, which goes hand in hand with that lovers in reverse card, the lack of self-love. Fruits and vegetables is like a choice. So that goes with that seven of cups. Diet would be like restriction, like trying to not do something that maybe you've done before. And then Dylan in, is in reverse, irritates, clashes, puzzles, complicates. And it has like a versus sign on it, like you versus somebody else, but it was in reverse. Puzzles. That's, I was just thinking this is like a giant puzzle. She got someone to change their mind about something. But I don't think that this has something directly to do with the murders. I think it's just like why it was able to go the way it was I guess. well there's three people walking in the shadows here and it looks like two are female and one is male i think this one might be male but longer hair that one looks like female it's like brian has someone helping him but doesn't know who's helping him or how they're helping him because they're not connected they're connected only through that that mentor person I said the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. It, it's that's this person doesn't know what this person is doing. It's only the connection through that middle person. It would be the one person has a connection to Brian and that same person has a connection to someone else who may not have even known their role in it or maybe they did. I think their role is more drug related, but they're not realizing that that actually played a, a, a part in allowing this to happen or setting the scene so that it would look a certain way or setting the scene so that things would go smoothly in some way was that because they were trying to see that that who that person was connected to that the middle link Queen of Pentacles. She's the, allegedly, I'm getting feminine energy again, for the link that puts the right hand to the left hand, that they don't know what each other are doing, might not even know that they're part of the same plan. What more can we know about the Queen of Pentacles energy? Fighting, unplanned pregnancy, unhappily married, unexpected visitor so i said what more can we know about the queen of pentacles this person has a very deeply wounded inner child it's likely that their parents didn't get along this person oh they felt unwanted just like brian that's what they connected on allegedly in my opinion that nobody wants me here right from the start of their life it's likely that this queen has parents that are not together or are not like not a healthy relationship unexpected visitor this shirt is kind of reminding me of like the old school style jail uniforms. Okay, allegedly my opinion, it's not like Brian was looking for, hey, who can I do this crime with? It's that this came out of nowhere and it was like somebody offered to help him put this plan that he already had in his head in motion for their own benefit, but made it seem like they were just supporting him because of this bond that they have, that they felt unwanted for their whole life pretty much. Um, 
didn't have great relationships with their families or their families didn't have great relationships amongst each other and that affected them. Um, this person, this queen has a very wounded inner child and is like lashing out at the world from this inner child mindset, but trying to present as like a reputable adult so that they can get away with all of this. It's not like Brian was like, hmm, like I wonder who I can talk to that I could get to help me with this plan. It, it wasn't that, it was like this kind of just fell into their laps. I said Brian felt like he was being supported, in my opinion, he felt like he was being supported by the universe like to do this. It started with this, this unexpected um, bond that opened the door for these like darker parts of their minds to be able to connect. We're gonna call the person that is, okay, so there's Brian, allegedly in my opinion, Brian. And then there's a person that is like helping Brian, that person we're gonna call Link, like L-I-N-K, like the Link. And then the other person is kind of working for the Link, not directly with Brian. They don't have a relationship. That person only has a relationship with the Link and their job wasn't anything to do with the murders per se, but had something else to do with setting the scene or getting information. No, it couldn't have been information. No, I guess it could have been. Slight chance it was information, more just like, honestly, I think drug related um, or something close to that to just like somehow, somehow, somehow help set this set the opportunity up without realizing that that's what they were doing so they could not turn on them because they don't think it's connected so that person we're going to call left hand left hand link brian um so what is one thing that left hand link and brian like if their mindset was to align with one card and pull it out because that's what they're thinking of the most what would it be let's start with link so link the one in the middle this would be like a mentor to brian and be like a boss of some sort of the other person a witness may not be fully disclosing all of the facts she's scared that dylan will say something else that will point to some kind of connection clarifier for the witness may not be fully disclosing six of cups in reverse stuck in the past not wanting to not wanting to expose the whole truth because it would make you look inadequate or immature something along those lines left hand the left hand has a connection with link but left hand does not have a connection with brian lies deception and a potential cover-up with a man standing there with four knives in his back left hand didn't know what he was helping with before but he knows now whatever his role was he's seeing how it could have played a role in allowing this to happen or a clarifier for a witness may not be fully disclosing all of the facts that is for the link eight of wands reverse delay so a witness might not be disclosing all of the facts, something about a delay. Judgment in reverse, unfinished lessons. Should have known better, you know, should have known better. Two of Pentacles, making a choice. Like, should I look more into this or should I think that this is weird or should I just let it go? No, I think they thought it was the same person. It's almost like maybe they thought, man, how didn't we see this coming? But then it turns out that they weren't right in that suspicion. Okay, so I think that I think that they were suspecting the same person that actually isn't the person that got arrested. It's not Brian. They weren't suspecting Brian. They were suspecting someone that they knew. This Bethany Dillon were suspecting the same person. It didn't turn out to be that person, but it was almost like they had seen something building up that they were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it came to this. But in terms of whoever Bethany Dillon were thinking about, 
what card can we have about that person's energy who they thought it was not brian somebody else who they thought it was before brian got arrested very interesting huh herman webster mudget so webster is sticking out to me like dictionary school and then his nickname is H. H. Holmes, like Detective Holmes. Is that like a movie? Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. That's what I'm thinking of. Sherlock Holmes. So I said, who were they thinking it was? Who were they suspecting it was? And this is like a detective card. Um, Mudgett built his own murder castle hotel with airtight rooms filled with gas lines and secret chutes where his victims were asphyxiated and dismembered. Murder castle. We kept getting the castle card for like early readings in this case, when we were talking about someone who could be being protected or like some kind of privilege. Airtight rooms fitted with gas lines and secret shoots. Gas lines and secret shoots is like making me feel like they thought that this was something that was drug related. Like when you strangle someone, would you like put your hand in your mouth? You try to get them to stop talking. Like don't talk, taking your breath so you don't talk. And then dismembered here would be representing, you know, the stabbing. Um, so what I'm saying is, I think that what they thought, they originally, the girls originally suspected Oh, he used a rope and poison. Yeah, they originally thought that it had something to do with drugs. Bethany and Dylan, allegedly, in my opinion, sat in a room and said, man, who do we think did this? They both agreed that they thought it had something to do with drugs. Someone from their school who was protected by some sort of privilege. There's a car outside that just beeped three times and that used to be like a big sign for me and it hasn't happened in so long. Like if I was thinking something and I heard those three beeps, I would know that it was accurate. Anyway, that just happened. Um, let me look up a little bit more about him and see if there's anything else. Better known as Dr. Henry Howard Holmes. Confessed to 27 murders, including some people who were verifiably still alive. Oh, he wanted to seem like he did more and was more successful than he was. We're trying to mislead. Convicted and sentenced to death for only one murder. That of accomplice and business partner, Benjamin Pietzel. Much of the lore surrounding the murder castle, along with many of his alleged crimes, are considerably likely exaggerated or fabricated for since for sensationalistic tabloid pieces. He died in Pennsylvania. His alleged crimes are considered likely exaggerated or fabricated for sensationalistic tabloid pieces. Many of these factual inaccuracies have persisted due to the combination of ineffective police investigation and hyperbolic tabloid journalism, which are often cited as historical record. Holmes gave various contradictory accounts of his life, initially claiming innocence and later that he was possessed by Satan, which here could be symbolic of Brian eventually saying, okay, this person made me do it. Been described as a serial killer. The murders we can connect him to generally had a clear motive Someone knew too much or was getting in his way and couldn't be trusted. Oh, it just clicked in my head. Oh my God, my eyes are really watery. Link, their motive wasn't just revenge. Somebody knew too much. Oh my gosh. Is it possible that Brian just, allegedly Brian just wanted to kill and somebody else told him about these were the good targets and that's how he found them. And these targets were found because Link person knew that they knew too much. 
There's the connection to Hannah. Holy crap. The murders weren't simply for love of bloodshed, but a necessary but a necessary part of furthering his swindling operations and protecting his lifestyle. Allegedly, my opinion, Brian just wanted to kill, somehow came into contact with this person who already knew that they wanted these people out of the way because they knew too much about something. And they said, oh, you want to kill? I'll protect you. We can do it my way. That's why they took the knife. Oh my gosh. So Brian wants to kill. Maybe he, maybe he's like, man, I would really like to know firsthand. And that's how it started. Mudgett was his parents' third born child. Later attempts to fit Holmes into the pattern seen in modern serial killers have described him torturing animals and suffering from abuse at the hands of his violent father. But contemporary and eyewitness accounts of his childhood do not provide proof of either. Does Brian have anything to do with the skinned dog that was found nearby? And also, I don't think it's abuse from the hands of his violent father like is here, but it, the, the element of people are saying, oh, there, could it possibly be abuse with, um, with Holmes? Could it possibly be abuse from his father that has something to do with this? It's kind of like now with Brian, it's like, is there possible like neglect elements or something like that with his family that played a role in this? At the age of 16, Holmes graduated and took teaching jobs in Gilmanton and later nearby Alton. He enrolled in the University of Vermont at age 18, but was dissatisfied with the school and left after one year. That would be like Brian not being satisfied with just the education and wanting firsthand experience. While enrolled, he worked in the anatomy lab under Professor William James Herdman, the then chief anatomy instructor. And the two were said to have been engaged in facilitating grave robbing to supply medical cadavers. Years later, when Holmes was suspected of murder and claimed to be nothing but an insurance fraudster, he admitted to using cadavers to defraud life insurance companies several times in college. So essentially what this is saying is he was looking for some kind of experiment. After he moved to New York, a rumor spread that Holmes had been seen with a little boy who later disappeared, trying to connect him to other crimes. Holmes claimed the boy went back to his home in Massachusetts. No investigation took place and Holmes quickly left town. He later traveled to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and got a job as a keeper at Norristown State Hospital, but quit after a few days. In his confession after his arrest, Holmes claimed he had killed his former medical school classmate for insurance money in 86, but the person actually died in 89. So it's, it's like wanting to, like after getting caught, wanting to make it seem like he did more than he did. Okay, so the dog somehow gets into that spare, the empty room that was Kaylee's room. Maybe the dog's like walking to the room and somebody kind of pushes the dog in, shuts the door. What happens next? Queen of Pentacles and Three of Wands. He was just waiting. He didn't know what was going on because he was waiting for the girls to come in and get him out of the room, the dog. So whatever was happening was not loud. Okay, so the dog's in the room waiting. It's not loud, he doesn't hear anything. He's waiting for the girls to come back in and get him. It's not that he doesn't hear anything else. It's that there's like a, it, it, there's a pause before it begins. What I'm feeling is the dog's in the room, gets shut in the room. I don't know, but it's almost like for a period of time, Brian's just 
allegedly Brian, is just standing outside Kaylee's door waiting. I don't know how long because like animals view time in a different way than humans. So it's a little hard to tell if it's like a second or like 10 minutes. Okay, so he's waiting for, for Kaylee or Maddie to come in and get him, the dog. Um, he's trapped in the room. It's not like the door is open, the door is shut. He was kind of forced into this room or like rushed into the room or something like that. Or it could just be that the door was like quickly shut behind him when he walked into the room. I don't know. Um, but there's like a period of waiting. There's a period of like standing where he doesn't hear anything. But he, for some reason he can sense that something's wrong. I, I bet you it's because the, the feet were outside the door and not moving. So dog knows something's wrong, then what happens? Like what I'm saying is it's not like in the dog's point of view, it's not like a door shut and there was two people waiting to go into the room. The dog believes just one person. Dog did hear it. It's like from the dog's point of view, he was shut in the room, waiting for one of the girls to come in and get him. Allegedly, Brian was standing outside the door. The dog was like looking at the feet or like under the door or something and like was thinking what's going on? Like, why is this person just standing outside the door? I don't know this person started to sense that something was wrong only from this one person it's not that somebody else joined him but then he heard um what did the dog hear knight of wands fast movement it's like waiting 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 scratching on the door give me a card for what the dog would say about if Allegedly, Brian was scratching on the door to get the girls to open it. Hermit in reversed. Rejection, isolation. Withdrawal, trying to bring one girl to the door. Oh, the hermit, the stick. Obvious sign, the stick. Yeah, I really think that he took something and was like scratching on the door. And then the dog heard him kind of it would be like if one girl got up and opened the door and Brian like just like threw her back and started attacking. And the dog could hear the fastness of that. Like there was nothing, nothing. And then whoosh, two of swords reversed. So once it started, it was quick. But there was a period of waiting before it. Like he knew about the person's presence in the house before there, there was an attack. The person was in the house before. I don't even honestly believe that like a super aggressive dog could have stopped this attack. So what energy was the dog picking up on when he was just standing outside of the door before attacking? Morgan Leafy, the witch of ages, atonement, growth, and deceit. So the dog could hear what was going on in the room with the attacks. What energy was the dog picking up on? The child I was meant to be in reverse. Artificial heart in reverse. So before entering the room, the child I was meant to be, but in reverse. And during the attacks, an artificial heart, but in reverse. It's heartless. Waiting for something to grow, but it was in reverse. So it's like the plan had come to fruition. The plan had bloomed. He was throwing away the child I was meant to be because he was never going to align with that energy. He was giving up on that child I was meant to be. I'm going with this path of evil instead of this child that I was meant to be path. So he's in the room. It's reversed. So this collar around his neck, it's like he was following someone else's instructions or plans. But now it was like collars off. I'm able to just do what I want in this moment. Like, this is the part that I have control over that's, like, just mine in the killer's mindset. Two cards for what Brian is thinking about his defense. Two cards for what his lawyers are thinking about the defense. He has a very emotional connection to this happening. Four of Pentacles is, like, he feels very grateful. Like, oh, all these people are really trying to help me, but, like... It's not, it's not about him. It's really about the, the notoriety that would come with a case like this. 
but he's not looking at it like that. He's like, man, finally, people are like stepping up to really help me and go to bat for me. You're being open. Like four of pentacles upright is like, oh, I'm keeping this close to my chest. I'm not telling you this. And then reversed is like, okay, here. He's going to try and claim he was at that house another time. It's either that he's going to claim he was at the house another time and that's why his DNA is there. Or he's just going to be like, yeah, I was stalking them. I was stalking them. You see my phone records. I'm, I was there all these times. I was stalking them. Did I kill them? No. Was I stalking them? Yes. Seven of Swords in reverse is like, oh, well, I'm caught. So I have to say something. So I'm just going to be really open about things that could poke holes in the narrative. So was my phone there? Yes, I was stalking them. Was my DNA in the house? Yes, I at one time got close to this person or I was in the house to do this with this person. Those are the kind of explanations that he's going to give. King of Cups makes me feel like he's going to try and paint some kind of like potential romantic interest. But he wouldn't have any proof of it because it's not accurate. So I don't know how he's planning on doing that. Um, what about his defense? Like what I'm seeing is a potential defense that comes out like, yeah, Brian was in the house because he was at one point trying to get close to so-and-so. He was stalking them. Somebody got mad about it and tried to frame him for this. The Six of Swords makes me feel like they're going to really play on the car. Well, the car was here. How could he do all this in this amount of time? The car was here. He's seen on camera here. His phone is pinging here. The Swords is also make me feel like it's going to be one of those scenarios where he's like, or the defense is like, oh, well, he knows he was wrong for stalking. But just because you're stalking doesn't mean that you killed somebody. And the car is here. So he couldn't have been there and there at the same time. And Eight of Cups is also returning somewhere. So it's like, maybe they're going to try and say like, oh, if I killed them, why would I return to the scene the next morning? You know what it is? The, the stuff that we're looking at that's like, oh man, he's so dumb. How could he do this? I think some of that was on purpose. Like, why would I return to the scene? If I left the Knight's Chief in the house, why would I return to the scene the next morning? Because then that's going to connect me with that. Something like that. Which is really where I'm getting this. I was set up. People don't like me. Page of Swords in reverse by someone who is immature, younger than me. Oh, they're intimidated by me. They don't like me. They set me up for this. If I was gonna do this, why would I do this? If I was gonna do this, how would I have done this? That's what they're gonna do. It's, it's, it's trying to weaken any potential like ins, like, oh, I have an in here. Please explain to me beyond reasonable doubt how my car could be here, but I could do this in this amount of time with the food guy showing up and this happening and that happening. How could I do that? Because that's where he's going to try and put in that reasonable doubt. Brian's defense team, I'm sure they've had like a meeting, right, together. What's the energy of their last meeting? Five of Wands. They're not agreeing about something. Five of Wands is also like confirming what I said that like it's not it's not about you, Brian. Like it's not that they want to help you, it's that they want this case to go a certain way. Six of Cups. Gee, they were not agreeing about something that had to do with Brian's how to use Brian's childhood as an element here. They were not agreeing about how to use it or if they should use it if it would help or hinder the case. They were arguing because they weren't sure how to use it. It's one of those things that once we put it out there in a certain way, we can't take it back. Should we go at it from this angle? Ten of Cups, family. Something about his family from childhood, they're in not full agreement about if they should bring it up, how they should bring it up, how they should use it. And they're trying to figure out how to play their cards with something from his childhood. Addicted, and it has a guy with a bunch of knives in his back. 
hyper focused on the pain that he felt earlier in life and unable to let it go. It's what directed every mistake going forward for him because he felt like this character. He felt like he was just stabbed in the back, like emotionally. And he was, he became addicted to that pain because it was the only constant in his life. The only thing he could rely on was knowing that the pain would be there. It almost became his friend. The pain became his friend. Which makes sense because that's kind of like how a mother would try and think of it instead of just being like, my son's a monster. It's like my son experienced pain and became addicted to it and that controlled everything. Brian's current energy today, sitting in jail. How is he feeling or what does he think? Uh, his internal dialogue. Her chance to dream. Everyone keeps saying two sides of his personality, two sides of his personality, split, split personality. That's what this is showing this time. So this is his internal dialogue. It's like that, that split personality. That's what's going on in his internal dialogue. What about his feelings? So we got two, Enchantress of the Night, Secrets, Vigilance, Subterfuge. And then Overlord of the Abyss, Pestilence, Corruption, and Malice. I had them like that. It's like the female is facing one way and he's facing another way. He feels separated from that partner. One is dark, one is night. He feels like they're in separate worlds. Secrets, he still doesn't plan on telling about this other person. Because what good could it do if he's the one that actually committed the murders allegedly? He knows it's not going to help his case at all. Maybe he's waiting for the right time to play it. Vigilance would be like sitting like, hmm, not the right time yet. Hmm, not the right time yet. He feels like he's in hell, but he fully expects something to happen that's going to turn this nighttime into daytime again. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I believe that right now sitting in jail, Brian fully like him saying i can't wait to be exonerated isn't like a oh i'm just saying this to piss people off like he thinks he's getting exonerated i don't know what makes him think that the order denotes honor and recognition of labor and it has a, a, a military medal on it bear of good tidings mountains nearby Indicate the presence of a mighty enemy. He still thinks that someone is going to protect him somehow. He thinks that that link person has some kind of connection that's going to somehow throw a wrench in the conviction. He's going through the motions thinking that, okay, when it comes to trial, I'm walking out of here. He knows he's not getting out before that, but he really feels like there's going to be something presented that's going to make it so that there's unquestionable reasonable doubt i don't know what it is child in reverse ai in reverse ai in reverse child in reverse could be an adult ai in reverse is artificial intelligence but in reverse so real intelligence fake intelligence Child in reverse, adult in reverse, cult in reverse, secret in reverse, secrets out. It's not a cult, but it's a cult, well, maybe a cult, but it's a group. He thinks that there's a group of people who are going to falsify some kind of information that provides reasonable doubt. Because all he needs is one piece of reasonable doubt. And he thinks somebody's going to fabricate it for him. Whether or not they are, I don't know. But he thinks that they are. Desert. Legal proceedings. So desert, like a mirage. Like seeing something that's not there. Like, oh, there's water. And then you run to it and there's no water. So could it be that Brian was told ahead of time? Like, oh, if this happens, I'll do this. 
but then because plans went south that wasn't really an option anymore and brian's still waiting for that and that's where that confidence is coming from but that help is actually not coming because he didn't do the original plan and messed everything up like oh if you only if you would have stuck the plan and only two people would have passed away um and this wasn't left and this wasn't done then yeah i could have helped with this reasonable doubt it had you been arrested but now since it went this way how do you expect me to do that i can't life insurance and cover up let's do kaylee first the devil the the devil and like oh he has like everyone on his chains but remember i just said if in the 3d you can't see this gold it's like the devil but you can't see this gold here so you don't realize that he has everyone on chains like the um like this card but you can't see it because you can't see those gold chains in the 3d you can't see that that connection there's four people on the card four people four butterflies maddie Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. Money. I owe you, you owe me. I do this for you, you do this for me. I'm helping you, I'm being generous. Sense of community involved. Okay, so these four cards were for the four of them to confirm or deny the presence of Link, Left Hand, and Brian's dynamic previously explained. So we have Xana saying there's a feminine energy in charge at the center of creating all of this. There's an invisible crown here that you cannot see. Ethan says this person, it's like you would never see this, this trio coming. You would never know. You would never be able to connect the dots because there's so much illusion and deception. Kaylee's just like, yep, that's it. You can't see the connection, but there is one person kind of leading everything, controlling everything, has the devil's minions in his pocket. And then Maddie's like, this has something to do with I owe you, you owe me, giving and receiving, something to do with money exchanging hands. We know by now that the Idaho Four are pretty good at this, like getting their messages across. So let's see what we get. What else can we know about Dylan that is not out yet? There's some kind of like disagreement that has something to do with money between Dylan and somebody else. Um, this is like Dylan has an emotional connection to one person, a male or masculine energy. And that person has a connection to like someone else. And there's a discrepancy between Dylan and that someone else but it's like a once removed type of connection. Um, for example, like a customer, like a disagreement with a customer. There's some kind of group, Queen of Swords, oh. There's some kind of like group effort to draw attention away from something, but Dylan's like high up in this like she's like she's like a force behind trying to trying to cover something up which I mean looking at the situation that could seem kind of obvious but um oh ten of cups reversed yeah they're like this is something that was going on previous to the murders oh I think there was a discrepancy with some kind of money. Something was owed, something was due, something was not fairly... distributed. I think it was like, you owe me, or like something like that. Dylan wasn't looking ahead at the effect that this would have on the relationship or the other person. Or something like that. The hermit being reversed makes me feel like I believe that Dylan knows something that only Dylan knows. And because of that, the story is able to be molded in a certain way that doesn't let some other piece of information come out. 
protecting someone. Who is she protect? Two of Pentacles. She's protecting two people. Oh, I said the connection to the other. Huh. She's protecting two people. She's either protecting two people or she's protecting two different. No, she's protecting two people. It's people. There's something that we already know that we're not looking at the right way. Two things coming together, two things merging. So are these cards representing something that we're looking at that we're not realizing is connected, but that actually is connected? Ace of Swords reversed, yeah, confusion. We're looking at something and we're looking at something else and they connect, but we're not realizing that they connect because someone doesn't want us to realize that they connect. So there, there's some kind of misinformation or confusion. Okay, so what are the two elements? The fool. I was going to say the fool would represent Dylan here because everyone's like, how, how could she not call? How could she not do anything? It, it seems foolish. So this would be a literal interpretation. So her connection to what? The king of cups. The emotionally manipulative male that she has an emotional connection to. Is Dylan protecting her boyfriend? Six of Wands from getting found out from the public knowing what's going on. Yeah. She knows something that she's not saying because if she says what she knows, then her boyfriend would get found out about something that she's trying to protect him for, in my opinion, allegedly. It's something that she can't... It may not necessarily be something that would get him in trouble with the law, even though... My opinion is that it probably is, but... In this case, like, let's say the cops would be willing to ignore other things to get this solved or to get proof of this. It's like she's still not saying whatever she knows because it there's like another factor. Like the, she doesn't want the information to come out because that person's parents would disown them or be upset or they would lose a scholarship or something along those lines. Allegedly, my opinion. Um, but there's a piece of information that's not being shared and I don't know if it's... It's a piece of the puzzle that makes all the other pieces fit, which is frustrating because do the cops know what this is and they just aren't saying it? They know what it is. They Somebody else told them. Some Somebody else told them, but they still... It's almost like something that only Dylan can prove, but that she's not being upfront about. If any of the roommates ever encountered Brian, Bethany, then Dylan, B Bethany, yes. There's a connection between Bethany and Brian. My opinion, allegedly. Is there's some kind of connection between Brian and Bethany, in my opinion. Um, it's not a direct connection. It's like they're both drinking from the same well getting something from the same from the same source so but, but brian would be more close to the source or more involved with the source whereas bethany's a little bit more um connected through someone else I would say my opinion is that Dylan is connected to someone that is connected to Brian through some kind of drug operation. My opinion, allegedly. Um, Bethany is in turn also, my opinion, connected to said operation um, through Dylan. Dylan is, in my opinion, allegedly protecting her boyfriend or some other male figure that she has a deep emotional connection with. Not necessarily from the law, which is reading a little weird to me. But from other people knowing or parents or school or losing something or just not having that information out there. I don't know. There's there's something that's not being forthright. Um... Because this is about Bethany. Did, Bethany didn't want to be involved in this. Either she tried to not be involved in it or she was about to like walk away or something. Um, 
so, so the high priestess is really like jumping up and down in my brain because I think it was my last reading where I said that I was seeing Dylan go downstairs to Bethany and then come back upstairs. And that's what this is pointing to me. Like, is it possible Bethany knows or saw something and she's like being threatened in the silence? Like, uh, Bethany knows something, but she's, she can't, she's, she can't say anything, but she wants to, my opinion, allegedly. Either she knows something or she was told something or she saw something. Somebody threatened her though, my opinion. I'll pull a card to confirm that. Four of Cups reversed. Yeah, it's like, do you want to, do you want to live or no? Because if you want to, you need to not say anything. Oh, it, is it Bethany that? Could be Bethany that knows something that's not, oh, because Dylan talked. Bethany saw something. It's not that she heard something, she saw something. What did she, what did she see? Ten of Wands. My opinion, allegedly, I believe Bethany saw something and was threatened. She either saw something, came into the knowledge of something, like, previous to it happening, or maybe when it was about to happen, she saw something. That's why Dylan's not saying what she knows, because Bethany was already threatened. So she knows she can only say so much, because if they're going to threaten her, they're always going to threaten her. Wheel of Fortune. She got lucky. You got spared. I think that there's a lot going on behind the scenes here, obviously. Um, do I think that the murders happen because of a drug crime? No. But do I think that there's a lot of drug-related elements surrounding this crime that play a role in allowing or enabling or making it possible for it to happen? Yes, my opinion, yes, definitely. Um, somebody is protecting somebody else. But again, not from the cops. Like, I can't figure it out. It's so weird. Um, it's like not from the cops. It's like from something else. And I, I believe that the reason that Dylan is only saying certain things is because Bethany was already threatened. She saw something, my opinion. She saw something or knew something, but it couldn't have been after the fact because what, is someone gonna be walking away from the scene and turn around and come back and be like, oh, by the way, don't say anything. It has to be before, like, like, like a go in your room and shut up and never say anything or I'll come back for you type of thing. Like I, I put too much work into this for it to fall apart because of you being here. If the four could give me one card to represent Bethany's energy in terms of what I just said, in terms of her seeing something and potentially being threatened, what would they say? Addicted in reverse. And someone who's stabbed in the back, but it's upside down. It wasn't her that did the backstabbing, but still backstabbed. Addicted would be the um, drug element. And then we have Prince of Avarice. Short-sightedness, ambition, and narcissism. Not thinking it was going to be that big of a deal. Either seeing something and not knowing what was going to come of it, or finding out something and not knowing the extent of it, but being threatened with that information. Like, don't, don't ruin the plans, or don't say anything, or don't do anything. An update on how the investigation is going. Are investigators aware of a possible accomplice? Things are going in a good direction. They feel like they're getting more. Um, things that were being held back before are, are coming forward. So that makes me feel like maybe people who were a little hush-hush before are either getting the pressure put on them or starting to leak out information somehow, some way. Um, Five of Cups signals disappointment. It makes me feel like they know that 
that there are people that aren't saying everything, but like there's nothing. It's like they don't. How do I put this? They know that there's something that they don't know, but they don't know what they don't know. So they can't ask directly because they don't know what it is that's that's not being told, if that makes sense. Um, but they know there's something to be told that's not being told. I think they're trying to work some kind of angle to push people into a corner to be like, not you have to talk. But they're having they're struggling to do that for some reason. Yeah, somebody knows there's there's a higher somebody knows something more than they're telling, but there's something holding them back. My opinion is that the investigators know that there's a reason that the people are not talking as much as like telling as much as they know. Um, I think that they're working on working it back to get to that main connector part or that main connector person. Um, Page of Wands reverse is a very immature energy. So it's almost like the investigators like, okay, well, we're dealing with like younger people and they're showing us their younger side. Like it's hard to get them to think like an adult when they're not fully in that mindset yet. And that's not to like bash anyone. It's just, that's what I'm seeing, the, what they're thinking. Like they're, they're like, man, we're really not dealing with full ad grown adults yet here. And it shows, um, they're working on pinning someone against someone else. But you know what's funny? I was just reading the rest of Christina's comment as I was um, shuffling and it says, can you get a reading on whether or not the search of his car and home was successful? And the card that came out, a closer observation of the victim's living space may provide clues. So I think that this is answering that question um, or at least beginning to. Do I think that they found proof that will help? Yes, I pulled the reverse Ace of Wands, but they didn't find exactly what they were looking for. They found stuff that will help, but not stuff that's like, he at least began to get rid of stuff or like scrub information. There's going to be some kind of proof of that. Like, I guess now we looked at his tampering with evidence. Um, he did something before he left to go to Pennsylvania. He did something to his apartment or the information or the computer. He did something. And doing that took away some kind of information that they would have been able to use against him. It was like a last minute. Let me do this real quick before I leave. Strength, yeah. He like got an inner inkling, like, oh, do that just in case. He, mo he moved something. There's something near his apartment that's not in his apartment. Something in his or near his apartment that's not in his apartment. The knife? So yes, they are still actively searching for the knife, but I don't think they, they've found it yet. Okay, so I'm getting that he moved something, but I don't know if he moved it. Well, I guess it would have to be away. Like, I don't know if I'm seeing him move it from the inside of his apartment to the outside, like somewhere around his apartment, or if I'm seeing him move it from in or outside his apartment to somewhere else, but like, the knife was somewhere and was moved at some point. Like it had an original hiding spot and then it, it moved. What made it move? He didn't want to move it. Somebody got him to move it. He had the knife with him after the murder. He didn't get rid of it right away, but he moved it at some point due to like somebody telling him to or like somebody being like you have to do this or you have to move it i think that came out in one of my previous readings too that same kind of energy what else can we know about the search of the car and home killer profile indicates narcissist or sociopath there was a motive for committing the crime and it's like someone putting money in a um in a safe yeah, he had something in his house that he took out of his house and moved somewhere else after the fact. Like, there was, like, a two-step process. Like, it was in or near or around his house, and then it was moved somewhere else. Like, right before this search, right before he went to Pennsylvania, he moved it. Something. I don't know what it is, but he moved something. I'm almost, I'm almost saying it, like, outside of his apartment. I feel like there's evidence in different places because he really feels like he's getting away with this. 
and he wants to go back and collect what he can when he can like it's weird there's something close to his apartment that's not in his apartment that they didn't find i don't i can't tell what it is oh i can't right away inheritance something he took something he took from the house is buried outside of his apartment Maybe not right outside of his apartment, but within within a 10 mile radius of his apartment. There's something he took from the house that he buried or stashed somewhere. Immortality. Oh. Allegedly, my opinion, I believe that the knife is farther from the house, but there's like um, something that he took from a victim. um literally that was in his apartment but he had to move it outside somewhere before he went to pennsylvania he was going to get it and put it back in his apartment after he got back from pennsylvania that's within a 10 mile radius of his apartment what else what can we know about where that would be it's not the knife though i'm not seeing the knife i'm seeing Drama with a rope and tied up. Yeah, like it's someone trying to get out, like a spirit trying to get out. Secret space program, but it was in reverse. Accident, but in reverse. So on purpose, and it's a crashed plane. So into the ground. He buried something that he took from... That's all I'm going to get here. He buried something that he took from one of the victims. He had it in his apartment, but moved it outside of his apartment before he left for Pennsylvania. He was going to retrieve it when he got back, but obviously he didn't go back. It's within 10, I can't, either 10 miles or 10 feet of his apartment complex. No final thoughts on the connection to Hannah's accidental death and drug connections. Let's do one card for Hannah. One card for the Idaho Fours tragedy and then one card for the potential connection between the two hannah is eight of swords so she was trapped she felt like there was no way out so that's um she was not in a great state mentally two of cups is like the symbol of a connection queen of wands in reverse do I see a connection? Yes. Um, we have Hannah who felt trapped. And then we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Which is basically saying that there's some connection to what happened with the Idaho Four and Hannah's mental state. Um, the same source of problems or the same feeling of powerlessness or helplessness. What I'd like to point out here is that the Eight of Swords is like a victim card. And you're only a victim if something is like wrong, done to you. And then we have the Two of Swords, which is like saying, is there a connection? Yes, connection. And then the Queen of Wands is saying there's a connection to one of the females and Hannah. And how they both met their demise is connected in some way. What I'm seeing is... Hannah is more, Hannah's death is more directly connected. Hannah's death is directly connected to the underlying factors of what happened to the Idaho Four. So is there a connection in my opinion? Yes, but it's not like a, it's like, it's like different branches of the same tree. I'm going to confirmation for that. Queen of Pentacles. Oh. It's not a direct connection. There's a middle middle woman. Like a middle man, but a middle middle woman. Um, so like this is Hannah, this circle here. This is the Idaho four. This big circle is the root problem like the problem that's causing all the other problems d-r-u-g-s um that's this big circle they're both in the circle it has something to do with both of them 
but they're not directly connected. There's this middle circle. There's somebody connecting the two. Clarifier for the Eight of Swords, which is representing Hannah. Yeah, somebody had a temper. She knew something. She walked in on something. Somebody had something to lose. Somebody had something to lose based off of something that Hannah knew or discovered. If Xana could give me one card to answer the question of was Hannah's death accidental? The Hierophant. We already know the answer to that. No. But there's a bigger reason behind it. Something to do with knowledge or knowing something that um, wasn't supposed to be known. Page of Cups. That connection, the, the, yeah, like. Somebody who has an emotional connection or friendship bond with Hannah and the same thing with the Idaho Four is the connection between the two of them. That is this Queen of Pentacles. That person knows what Hannah knew or knows that she knew something that she wasn't really supposed to. So something didn't go the way it was supposed to and there is some kind of connection there. Somebody made a choice that they later came to regret because they weren't thinking ahead. And it has something to do with both Hannah and the Idaho Four. Is this connection Dylan? This circle that's connecting the two that are both in the whole problem is that Dylan. One and only. Somebody sees better in her, but she's not making better choices. But yeah, that's the connection. Is it that Dylan knows something about Hannah's death that she's not talking about, but she knows it's connected to this? The Magician in Reverse and the Moon. Couldn't be a bigger yes. Manipulative or lack of communication, something being unseen or not focused on. The police don't know what they don't know, so they don't know that what she has is a connection between the two. So they can't ask for it because they don't know what it is that she knows. And they have no way to prove that she knows something, if that makes sense. But she knows something. Brent Kopaka. So he has PTSD from military service. His family lives in Lewiston, which is one of the places that um, was on this map that Brian traveled to. He was shot December 15th in Washington. I believe he was like threatening to kill his roommates or something like that. Let's just look and see if there's a connection. I want a card for Brent, a card for Brian, and a card for their possible connection. They've at least been in the same place at the same time. They at least have some kind of connection in common or talk to the same people. If there is a connection there, it's not direct. It would be like once or twice removed. Like I know this person that knows this person that knows you. What's confusing me here is the Knight of Swords being reversed is like there being some kind of animosity or like tension. But in order for there to be tension or animosity, there would have had to been something happened. Somebody that was sitting in his house with him. Yeah, that's, I, I literally said, I'm seeing him sitting there in a little stool, okay? This person's sitting in a little stool in like a living room and there's two people standing in front of him, the house and the stool. And then somehow it escalated. It's like he didn't do anything, but it could have somehow looked like he did. I think that that has something to do with the drug connection. And it may not have been drugs on his part. It may have been like some kind of financial involvement. I don't know, but I feel like I'm, I'm seeing it, but I can't hear what they're saying. There's like a little stool. It's like a little, it looks like that. Like he's sitting on something like that in the living room and there's people who are standing. Like let's say he's sitting in a stool there and he's like that tall sitting on the stool. Like there's one taller person and one that's not as tall and they're like standing there talking to him and they're giving him some kind of information about how it can look like he did this or look. 
if it wasn't the Idaho four, then it was some other crime that that, that could have fallen on him. But I'm pretty sure that it's pointing to the Idaho four. One last card to wrap this part up. Three of Pentacles. Just that he's sitting there with two people in front of him, and that's what this is showing. That's that financial drug connection or drug related connection, in my opinion, allegedly. Um, but long story short, Brent Kopaka, do I think he's involved in the Hydro Fours? That's no. But I do think there's um you think there's a connection. Remember I said um something about something on the drive, like a protection on the drive, something being set up on the drive, and that happened right before the drive. So it would be how to use that to the advantage of Brian. How to use what ended up happening to Brian's advantage somehow. Whatever was being set up on the drive from Washington to Pennsylvania had something to do with Brent and using what happened to Brent to try and get Brian out of this in some way. But he didn't actually have anything to do with it. So that's why his dad brought up that situation in the car because they were talking about it. They were spilling everything out, using everything that you can. But I said something about, I was saying in the car, there was some kind of protection being set up or some kind of plan being set up. It has something to do with Brent, in my opinion. It has something to do with Brent. Not because Brent did anything, but because someone's trying to use, use him for reasonable doubt. This is gonna be attempted to be pinned on him. And what's scary is there may be something planted. Oh my gosh. If they potentially planted something to make it look like he was involved and he's not around to stand up for himself, that could be that reasonable doubt factor. I am seeing that he may be a potential fall man or at least the attempt to be set up as one. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing that that was a point of discussion on that car trip because It was trying to be used in some way to Brian's advantage. So now I want one card for Hannah, one card for Dylan, and one card for the connection between them. So it's like intimidation and bullying. It's time to make a move. Is there a connection between the two of them? Yes. Some kind, there's some kind of tension between the two of them. Um, it's almost like a tension that Dylan now regrets now that Hannah's passed away. The Two of Swords being reversed is like they weren't able to agree to something and they weren't seeing something eye to eye. Which if Hannah, in my opinion, my, my theory is that she knew something that she wasn't supposed to know. So it could be about that information. The Ace of Swords, it is about that information. Are they related? I'm not sure if they're related. I I don't know. I'm not I, I'm not getting any indication either way on that. But is there is there a connection? Yes. It has something to do with the information that Hannah had that she wasn't supposed to have. And there was some kind of tension, argument, disagreement about that between the two of them. Or that that at least Dylan knew about that was going on with Hannah. What did the police find in BK's apartment that would be harmful to the public and the police? Queen of Cups. I was just going to say it's something with a connection to someone else. Then the Queen of Cups came out. He has something on somebody else. Either he has something on somebody or he was doing research into something that they don't want to be like a focus. It's something that's not related. Like, obviously they found stuff for this case, but... What I'm getting is that this harmful to the public and police statement has something to do with something that's not actually about these murders, but something else that's connected to something else. Some kind of like support or can. So essentially, what did they find that would be harm? Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, not wanting the public to know something. They found something that's not about these murders, but it's about some some kind of connection to something else or someone else and that's what they don't want the public to know which is why it's confusing because it's like what about this would they not want us to know we know what happened but it's because it's not about this it's about something else 
Why do I feel like it's something he was researching? Or a connection he had? Details leading up to the murder may be worth investigating. And we're talking about what they found that would be harmful to the police and the public. And I just said some kind of what he was researching. Throwing someone off a cliff. Wait, so this was turned over, but I just turned it the other way. But it's it's that image of someone coming in the slider door that we keep seeing. Killer may be currently in prison for another crime. What could be harmful to the police and the public? Some kind of research. He has a connection to a killer, another killer that they found. There's some kind of communication or contact or research or documentation from another killer that he was in communication with that they found. About Dr. Catherine Ramsland. She's an expert and very close to the case, what her insights are. Justice. She's an expert and very close to the case. Justice, she knows that he's caught. She knows they have enough. Either they have enough or they're able to get enough, in her opinion. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. She knows it's gonna be a battle, it's gonna be an uphill climb, but she thinks that they have enough. Um, I believe that she thinks that someone is holding on to information and kind of in a situation where they feel like they can't tell what they know. I believe that um, Dr. Catherine Ramsland, I think that she, it's almost like there's a piece of the case that they're not focusing on enough in her opinion. She thinks that they should be focusing more on something. I think it's probably the drug part of it. Um, Queen of Swords reversed, manipulative energy. Yes, yeah, she, she thinks that if they press someone, someone will give more information than they have been giving. Like almost like a weak link, like in her opinion, somebody knows more than they're telling. And if they press them about the right thing, then they'll break about the what they know, I guess you could say. Cover up in reverse. Yeah, somebody's covering up for somebody else. Clean, this also has like a broom and a tea. Oh, that's a chair. I thought it was the bench that I drew at first, but it's not. My opinion, allegedly, is that Dr. Catherine Ramsland thinks that there's something definitely fishy about the time that it took to call 911 and what could have been occurring in that time period. I don't know if this is something that she's vocalized or not. I'm not sure who this is, but um, she knows that there was something done in that time frame or she believes there was something done in that time period of like, when they should have woken up in the morning and when there was actually a phone call made that has something to do with cleaning up, covering up, maybe not covering up for the murders, but covering up for the surrounding factors that people didn't want others to find out about. They wanted to kind of keep it close to the chest, so to speak. Always thought it was amazing how a college student could afford a Range River. I agree. So let's look into that. How did that come to be? The devil and the tower. Oh, I just clicked on it underneath and Christine said that um, Kaylee has an OnlyFans page. That's that's what I was, um, that's what I was getting at here or like thinking here. Um, Cause the devil brings in that sexual element and the tower's like five of cups. It's something that she's not necessarily I don't want to say not proud of, but maybe something that she, at least looking at it now, maybe she wishes that it could have been different. Um, but yeah, I, I would say, in my opinion, um, I believe that it's likely that something like OnlyFans had had to do with how she came into getting the Range Rover. Um, also working at the restaurant, making money. Um, I, I would I would agree that I believe that that's how that came to be so not not something like not something illegal um nine of wands like pushing forward yeah she was tired of doing it but she kept doing it 
because she the, the the money was good yeah i i to keep it short and sweet on that one i would say in my opinion i believe that it was likely um only fans or something similar that allowed her to purchase the vehicle on drunk turkey there was a mother of a student that came on she said that her daughter knew about the stabbings well before police were involved and said the students went in and cleared the place of drugs before authorities went in. What can we know about people knowing about this before police? The devil in reverse. We just had it up right now. We have it in reverse. Yeah. Recovery would be about like cleaning things up, um, preparing for it to look a certain way detaching yourself from the reality of what would have happened if they didn't get to clean up potentially three of pentacles there is that teamwork again so in terms of a mother calling and saying that her daughter knew about the stabbings well before police do i believe it yes um do i believe that people went in and cleared the place of drugs. Do I believe that a team worked for a not good cause to clear the place of some toxic abusive substances? Yes, I do. Um, what else can we know about this? Four of swords reversed. They were ready to do it. How are they ready to do it then? it's like somebody was contacted and they just jumped like okay i'm coming like oh this happened oh we'll be right there like no hesitation there was a period of time where whoever it was that contacted people to come there was at least like a few moments where they were like oh my gosh should i just leave it as is or should i call people but they quickly made that decision to call and the person quickly came over it was like boom 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 Maybe it wasn't a difficult decision, just like that's automatically the first thing that came to mind is I need to get this stuff out of here. Contacted someone, that person came over right away. Um, what was the energy of the person who came over to help get stuff out of the house? Hiding your true self, but it's in reverse. And it's two females in gowns on the card. Hiding your true self. Yeah. Like the two girls in the house not being upfront about that part of the story. Hiding that that drug element or aspect of their life. And I, I said that I felt like one of them was protecting someone. Yeah, like I'm not going down for this. I'm going to hide this. I'm not going down for this. I'm not going to have it look a certain way. I'm not going to have it look like this. To answer the question plainly, a mother came on and said that her daughter knew about the stabbings well before the police. Do I believe that? Yes. 300%. Um, said the students went in and cleared the place of drugs before the authorities went in. Do I believe that? Absolutely. Um, my opinion, yes. Was someone in the house involved in dealing and distributing drugs? Tower in reverse. Yeah, this had been going on for some time chariot in reverse things weren't changing the world in reverse was someone in the house involved in dealing and distributing yes yes but not everybody in the house was on board with it and some people wanted it to stop but other people didn't who and is it in any way connected to the murders three of cups my opinion allegedly who i believe dylan and bethany um, I believe also Kaylee and or Maddie were at one point connected to it in some way. I don't know how, I don't know to what extent, but it could just be knowing about it. It could be more than that. I don't know. I'm not getting into that, but it's like somebody, um, somebody that was okay with it was no longer okay with it. One person was kind of just going along with it, and then one person was, like, against it. Um, it's almost confusing because it's, like, somebody was intentionally putting out confusion so that people wouldn't know where certain things were coming from. Like, almost, for example, if, let's say, Dylan was saying bad things about Bethany to Kaylee or Maddie, 
but like they were friends, but like w was doing that to try and confuse or to mislead like prior to the murders. Is it connected to the murders? Dealing and distributing drugs. Is it in any way connected to the murders? If you think about it and you sit there and you break it apart, like, is it in any way connected to the murders? Plainly, yes, but it's not the cause of the murders, in my opinion. It's like, like mitigating factors. It's almost like when this was planned, these people were the victims because there was so much opportunity for confusion, so much opportunity to insert reasonable doubt because of the other things that were going on, such as drugs, if that makes sense. So is it connected to the murders? Yes, but it is, is, it, is it the cause of the murders? No, it's not like a bad drug deal or something like that. But did drugs as a surrounding factor play a role in what happened? especially in terms of how long it took to get police involved, especially in terms of everyone being completely upright, forthright, and honest. Those, in those ways, is it connected in a, it's connected in a big way. But in terms of like, did they die because of drugs? No, that's not what I'm getting. Um, but either they were chosen because of like, like, let's say, for example, someone's looking for a victim. It's almost like when they looked at these victims, they were like, man, there's some potential to really go in there and cause some damage and confuse people because nobody knows what's going on or this is going on. So they're going to want to hide that. That's going on. So they're not going to be upfront about that. That's the way that I'm seeing it playing a role. Um, I guess you could consider that like an indirect role or like... Like, let's say you have a ball that's going to roll down a hill. But at the top of the hill, there's like those horse cages that the horses are in before they, maybe not a horse, a bull, like a bull, like the bull cage before you let the bull out and it goes. Like, let's say there's a ball at the top of the hill and the ball is going to roll down the hill because that's just how gravity is going to make it go, right? Drugs would be the opening of that gate. So it was going to happen but this is what allowed it to happen or allowed it to happen in the way it did. Hopefully that makes sense. Why did his dad land in Seattle? He didn't want to. It wasn't like a, oh, let me just go there instead. Um, was he, it has something to do with money. Either money or timing, something along those lines. But it, it wasn't his choice, but it was kind of no other option in some way so again it could have been the timing of the flight or 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 the price of the flight something along those lines yeah he didn't I, I almost feel like maybe this was like a last minute change or like initially he planned to fly into one place and then change it to another when prices changed or something like if he had to fly into somewhere and then had to wait for some kind of shuttle to pick him up to bring him to like the next place. It's almost like a, um, like a, I feel like he got like some kind of discounted deal. That it brought about some inconvenience, but it was a, a good deal. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, why didn't BK fly home for the holidays? He wanted to talk to his dad in private. It's either that he wanted to talk to his dad in private or he just didn't want to be around other people. It may have originally been the plan to fly home. Or maybe it was not the plan to go home. Like some plans, plans changed because either he wanted to be alone to talk without other people around and or just wanted to like talk privately. Like um, it's almost like his dad was his comfort blanket in that moment. Like he needed, he either needed to be alone to talk to him, alone to plan or he just needed to like be alone and like without being alone. Like it's, is it possible Brian had a plan with someone to get someone to take the car? Like, like let's say him and his dad goes into a store and then somebody comes and steals the car and that's how it gets gone. Did he have some kind of plan for the car? Yeah, definitely. Um, but it didn't go through because they got pulled over. 
it's like plans got canceled because it was almost like are there eyes on us because you can't come steal the car if they're watching it because they're going to see you steal the car um my previous reading i said there was some kind of communication when they were driving prior to getting pulled over i wonder if that had something to do with somebody else taking the car i don't know it's weird it's like confusing but it it, it like makes sense but it's confusing so what i'm seeing is The elements of wanting to be in private to have some kind of conversation or communication. Some kind of plan involving somebody else that has something to do with getting that car gone before they got to Pennsylvania. Like a carjacking, but like a planned carjacking or like we go in the store and we come out and the car is just not there and the whole crap. But they got pulled over and it was the plan was fumbled queen of pentacles yeah he was like real confident that this this was gonna work because if someone steals his car when he's going to pennsylvania i don't know how he thought he could potentially use that for reasonable doubt was the plan to ditch the car yeah through some kind of plan that got fumbled because they ended up getting pulled over. Who opened the door to get the DoorDash delivery? Did Ethan open the door for DoorDash? It's possible. What about Xana? So I'm seeing either Xana said to Ethan, can you go get it? I don't know if I'm seeing them bring it into the room or bring it out, but Ethan had seeing ethan with the bag but i don't know if xana brought it into the bedroom and then ethan brought it out of the bedroom or if ethan went to the door and got it what about dylan and bethany bethany saw something or became aware that something was going on around the time of that doordash delivery i don't think that dylan knew about the doordash delivery and not like when it was happening but i think bethany saw something Heard something, saw something around the time of that DoorDash delivery. I think it was either Ethan or Xana, but like they both were aware of it. Like either Xana said, can you go get it? Or said, I'm going to go get it. One of them, but I'm seeing Xana had the bag at one point and Ethan had the bag at one point. Almost like they're passing it, like they don't want it. Six of cups. Yeah, that's both of them sitting there. It's, it's almost like it's almost like I don't remember ordering this or did I order this or I forgot I ordered this or why did I order this I feel like that's really important but I can't figure out why yet but maybe we will as we go also that roommates plural saw three people in the driveway I wonder I said Bethany saw something I didn't know that till right now um I wonder if Bethany saw what did Bethany see? The magician. Five of swords reverse, a fair fight, magician. Magician would be like it in the context of what we're talking about in this case. Magician could be like the plug drug plug like what is he doing here why is he here this is like man i feel bad about what i know or i feel bad about what i saw did the roommates see people outside the house yeah i think so um my opinion would be yeah they saw someone that it didn't make sense for them to be there or it didn't make sense for them to be back my opinion is I think Bethany and Dylan saw different things. But I think Bethany told Dylan what she saw. So if Bethany saw someone outside the house, what energy did she pick up on from that person that she saw? Child I was meant to be. This has been the card that represented Brian for multiple readings. Weird science. Drugs. So she saw Brian with the plug. Neighbors saw the door open when going by with their dog. 
not thinking a, a woman not thinking ahead about the consequences of her actions or not thinking how deep am I going to get involved in this by not telling the truth or not telling what I know. This is giving me the vibes of like in over my head, but didn't realize how big of an impact my not telling what I knew would have until it was too late. Narrowed in on suspect number two. This is the um, financial element or money exchanging hands. This is not agreeing about something. And then this is confirmation that yes, there's another person involved in this. It's likely this is being slowly discovered or uncovered from like an investigative standpoint. Um, as in the investigation is moving forward toward being able to prove or place this accomplice, like their role. Be because it's tricky because it's not, it's not, it's not someone who performed the actual murders with him, but they still are very guilty. What can we know about, because I think there's multiple people involved in some way or another. I think there's one killer. I think there is, including the killer, I think there's three total that are all the way guilty of this, even if they didn't commit murder. One of them did, two of them didn't, but they're all still just as guilty, if that makes sense in my mind, my opinion, allegedly. Um, so in terms of suspect number two, uh, whoever it is that the police are looking into or are beginning to kind of piece together with this connection that they're looking at now, what, what can we know about that person? High Priestess, that feminine energy, the feminine in charge energy, the feminine, I know everything that I shouldn't know, or I know this, I know that. The one who's behind the scenes, putting everything together, connecting the dots. That has some kind of, this person has a feeling that they're onto her. She's worried. Or he, because it could be a male with um, feminine energy. So I put in all this hard work and to not get caught and they're still looking at me. What was this person's role? What was their main role? Defensiveness, getting, getting, um, what was their main role? Their main role had something to do with um, getting it so that people couldn't defend themselves in some way. What was their role? Their role was the setup or like allowing for the execution of this plan to go through. Almost like an unwillingness to accept no for an answer because they wanted this to happen for their own personal reasons. This person doesn't feel anything. They're, they're taking this out on the world because they don't... They're bitter, they're angry. Um, and I'm talking about this high priestess potential accomplice. Um, the Knight of Pentacles reversed is taking a gamble on something. So it's almost like the knowledge gained from being a part of this experience was worth the risk, even though now that now that they're getting worried about their name coming into this, trying to execute some kind of plan that was already in place. It's almost like this person had a plan in place like if police get close, then I'll enact this plan and it'll push them back. And that's, that's, that's in effect, that plan. What's the energy of this potential um, accomplice high process? Before the murders, what's this person's energy now? The keeper of the whispers, the mad prophet, the high priestess, the mad prophet, the keeper of the secrets, secrets. Curiosity. I just said the knowledge of being a part of this was worth the risk to them. Curiosity, madness, and forbidden knowledge. And High Priestess's energy now. Artificial heart. Someone who's seeming to be sad or upset about this case, but they actually don't really feel that way. One of these from each of the four. Let's start with Ethan. What should be a focus or what should be looked into? What do you want to say after this reading? This was in reverse. The letter is a sign of good tidings 
or unexpected good fortune, but it was in reverse. Good tidings. That's a letter. This to me is confirming that Bethany saw something in the drive or saw someone in the driveway that was had some ill intentions and was like planning something like she, what she might not have realized what she witnessed but i believe that what she witnessed was some kind of planning involved in this um or like a something along those lines um one card from xana it's in reverse the snake indicates enmity and calamity snake in disguise so yeah she trusted someone that she wishes she didn't trust Okay, I'll bite. What would you like to say about that, Xana? What would you like to say about who you trusted that you shouldn't have trusted? Hanged man. She wishes she would have seen things in a different way or looked at things from a different perspective. She didn't realize what she was up against or what was going on or like the extent of what was evil around her. Um, Kaylee. It's in reverse. The dog, if near, represents true friends. Beware of unsuspected enemies. It was in reverse. And it's the four of them. All four victims know the person who is that connection. All four victims know this high priestess. I'm not saying they got to be best friends, but they know personally this person. It's someone further along on their life path than the four. Um, that was Kaylee, so this is Maddie. Letter, written message, bad, evil, urgent need. It's an ace. What else about that from Maddie? Because ace is also a gamble. King of Pentacles reversed, that connection. Passing information from one person to another. There's a middle person that's passing information from this high priestess to Brian. There's a, there's a degree of separation in between this high priestess and Brian. There's not a direct connection. Or there might be a direct connection, but there's also an indirect connection. This high priestess passes information to this person that looks like they're in charge, but they're actually not in charge, but they're in that they look like they are. And that person has a connection to Brian. And Bethany saw this person with Brian. She might not know that's what she saw, but that's what she saw. It, yeah, it's some kind of business hustle. Okay, I'm just going to say it. This is my opinion. Um, what I'm getting from all of this, I'm going to say this as an example, okay? My example of what could potentially have allegedly, my opinion, happened here would be... Let's just say, let's say Bethany looks outside and sees someone that she is intimidated by or fears or someone who could mess up her life or harm her in some way or threaten to. She sees this person outside of the home with someone that she does or doesn't know, allegedly Brian. She sees this going on, maybe doesn't make too much of it, maybe does, I don't know, I feel like doesn't make too much of it. But then later she either sees him in the home, hears something going on, but she connects it to knowing that what's going on or what I saw has something to do with that person's connection to that other person. So I can't say nothing because that person is scary. That's what I'm getting for example. So if she just locked herself in her bedroom for the whole night, like I know it's been possibly said that that's what happened. That would make sense because if she saw something, knew that there was something going on she couldn't do anything about, couldn't say anything about, but wanted to protect herself, locking herself in her bedroom would probably be the best move until the morning. Too scared to call police because you don't want that person to retaliate. Too scared to go upstairs because you don't you don't know what's going on, but you know it probably ain't good. 
feels there's more involvement surrounding DM and concerned that BF might know more. Let, like speaking to their consciousness individually, DM and BF. If BF had a tattle about one thing about DM, what would it be? And if DM had a tattle about one thing about BF, what would it be? Start with DM tattling on BF. So the Four of Cups being reversed is like, you got to look at it this way. You got to see it this way. Or you got to see it from my point of view. Or you got to stop thinking about it like that. Um, the star being reversed is like someone losing their way. And then the Knight of Wands reversed is a delay. If DM was telling on BF about with these cards, DM would be telling us that BF went along with something that she didn't agree with or didn't like, and like something that she wasn't right off the bat on board with right away. Like there wasn't like an initial, yeah, but like she had to be convinced about something. Um, and the Knight of Wands being reversed is like something about a delay. So she had to be convinced to delay calling the police. DM convinced BF that they had to wait to call the police. BF initially wanted to call earlier. Confirmation of that. Oh, three of cups came out right away. Yep. Yep. Collaboration. Group effort. Um, BF was feeling emotional, which means leads me to believe that BF likely didn't didn't know what happened or didn't expect what happened to be what ended up happening, if that makes sense. Yeah, D BF had to be convinced to wait to call the police. That's, that's what this is screaming to me. I'm seeing like, no, we need to call now. We need to call now. No, we can't, we can't, we can't. We gotta do this, we gotta do that. No, we like, No, we can't. It, it was hiding something. Whoever was convincing BF that they had to wait to call, how, how did they get her to like, obviously she didn't go ahead and call. So how did they get her to not call when she initially wanted to? Seven of Wands reverse. She was tired. They just wore out. It was just a back and forth. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Until she was finally like, okay. Kept going round in circles. So I'm getting round in circles. I don't know if it's like talking in circles, like just keeping repeating, explaining the same thing. But I'm, I'm also like kind of seeing someone walking in a circle, like pacing. I think it's B F. EF would be pacing, like, like freaking out, like walking in a circle, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then there's somebody else standing there like, no, we can't call, we can't call, we got to do this first. They just broke her down until she was like, okay, whatever, we'll do it your way. Um, all right, let's flip it now. So what would BF tell us if she had a tattletale about DM? You yeah, have tell us about DM. The first card was strength, which shows a woman taming a lion. The tower reversed. Didn't want to change the plans. Had to stick to the plans. The lion gave DM the plans. DM was enacting it to appease the lion or like to comfort the lion. She didn't want to change the plans. It wasn't her that was making the plan. She was get the Empress of her. She was getting the plans from somewhere else. So if BF had a tattletale on DM, she would be telling us that somebody... Okay, so the delay that we talked about um, before this, the delay of calling the police is due to this lion 
masculine, masculine, demanding, fierce energy. He gave the plan of what to do to DM. My opinion, allegedly, all this is my opinion, allegedly, gave the plan. Um, and then her like kind of petting the lion in this picture is like her being like, okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I'll do this, I'll do this. And then this, the tower reverse would be DM convincing BF, we can't call police yet because we have to do this. I can't change this plan. I was given this plan. We have to, I cannot, we're, we're trying to not have a disaster here and I can't change the plan. Um, and the Empress was reversed. So it's like, what would BF tell us about DM? She, she was in charge. She had the in charge energy, but she wasn't the one who created the plan, but she was the one who was like dishing it out. Like she was given instruction by someone and then enacting whatever that instruction was. Interesting. If these cards had to tell on both of them together, what would it say? Or something to focus on that has something to do with them. Holy crap. There was a motive for committing the crime and it has someone with a bunch of bags of money crouched down hiding. They're hiding the real truth because they're behind a wall of money. Interesting.